Well, the Arizona Wildcats, number 18 team in the land, have extended their home court non-conference winning streak to 46 as they run away from the Bison of North Dakota State. Along with Don McLean, Roxy Bernstein with you. It was a lot more of DeAndre Ayton tonight. Well, you knew coming into this that North Dakota State had nobody that could deal with DeAndre Ayton at the rim, and so they took advantage of that. Defensively, I thought Arizona started the game a little bit slow, but then came on. But what's impressive about Ayton is it's not just dunks, although he dunks a lot. He can square up, knock down jumpers, he gets on the offensive board. And Alonzo Trier, their leading scorer, can score in a lot of different ways as well. In the mid-range game, catch and shoot threes, get all the way to the rim. A little bit of a scare in the second half with him going down. We'll have to check on his status, but Alonzo Trier, a big part of obviously what Arizona does. But a good sign, Don, is he did come back to the bench mm -hmm. there late in the ball game when and you alluded to it that if something was really wrong with Trier, we, we wouldn't have seen him again. I don't think so. We don't know that for sure, but I don't think so. So a good sign for Sean Miller that Trier seemingly not that injured. Arizona shoots 50% and only five turnovers in the game for the Arizona Wildcats, who actually turned it over in each of their first two possessions of the night. But number eight, number 18, Arizona rolls past North Dakota State, 83 to 53. They are now nine and three, and they've won six in a row. For Don McLean, Roxy Bernstein, keep it locked on pack-12.com all season long.